Hello and welcome to this short video on how to make a camera track in front of a paw. Okay, so this is designed to be something where you're going to have a pawn which changes direction and you want the camera to track in front of it, but you don't want it to immediately jump, so you want it to track slightly slowly. Now I am using the twin stick example map and I'll just quickly demonstrate what this might look like. So if I grab my controller, as you can see, the camera is in front of it. As I turn around, it will swip to the other side. But the key is it doesn't immediately jump. There is a sort of a bit of a transition. So that means you can easily see what's in front of the, in front of it as you're moving. Okay, now the key to this is you can see that I've got a little dot in front of it. This little, this little purple, this little blue sphere. Now, what's happening is the camera is actually tracking to this sphere, but it's not tracking uh, directly. What it's doing is it's lurping between the point that it's at and it's moving to that specific point. OK, so let me show you how I have done this. Right, so I'm just going to escape out of that. All of the code is within the pawn itself. So if I grab the pawn, open it up, I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I have added a tracking point and I have added the sphere. Now the sphere you don't actually need. I've just used it for debug bug qualities. You could actually you could actually delete that the tracking point, which is a scene component. You get from add component and type it in scene. So this is just a, an empty. So this is a, an empty object which we can we can um, place stuff onto. And I've called that the tracking point. And then I've added another empty scene component, which I will call um, camera point. Okay, and what this is doing is I've reparented the camera boom and the camera component to this camera point. Yeah. Now, um, that is important because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving this camera point in order to move the camera. So uh, that that is quite an, an important element of it. Now, the camera point itself, I've done something I've done something odd with. I have changed the location to an absolute location. So what this is going to mean is it's not going to move automatically anymore. It's going to it's going to move. It's going to move around as uh, on its own. We're going to need to control how it moves. So um, second, we're going to need to control how it moves. So I've changed done the drop down, changed it from relative to world location. OK, now uh, this is the code that makes it follow. So on event tick, I have just added an extra, uh, an extra third sequence, and I have created. And what I've done is I am starting off by I'm going to take this camera point and I'm going to set its world location. But in order to to set this world location, I'm going to need to calculate a location. And I'm doing this by taking the camera point. So that's the same camera point as here. And that's the one that's set to an absolute location, getting its present location. And that's going into the A of alert. And then I'm getting the tracking point, which is this blue dot, or at least the empty, which that blue dot, dot is connected to. And so I've got these two different locations that I'm using alert. And I'm using the alpha and this and I've set it to 0 0.03. So that means it's going to it's going to have it 3%. It's going to move it 3% towards the tracking point every single every single um, camera, uh, every single frame of the game. Now, depending on how fast your computer is or how you want to set it, you can you can increase this and it will speed up. the It will speed up how quickly the 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 camera tracks to that point. OK, so um, so this is updating the camera point as we go. Save, compile. 
And, and that's, that's all that you really need in order to generate this effect. Okay, so again, what this is doing is it is just moving the camera. And you can see it's moving the camera to that blue pin. So as I move, it doesn't immediately move to it. Okay, thanks a lot.